Welcome back, everyone. Another week of Taurus Tech Talk here at the SG Taurus Company. I'm your host, Matt LePan, joined by one of our great technical support representatives. It's Ken Gott. Ken's back, and once again, he's talking Kumo Cloud, Kumo Station here with us on Taurus Tech Talk. Ken, welcome back to the podcast. Thanks for having me again, Matt. Today, we're talking common mistakes that folks want to avoid when they're installing Kumo Cloud, Kumo Station. All of our tech guys, they're getting calls on Kumo Cloud, Kumo Station, and folks installing them. Again, it's a very popular item. So they're getting these calls and a little refresher course today on things you might want to remember and some new things that may have come up that we haven't had a chance to do a full podcast on, but we just want you to remember these few things. And this is a nice, quick, easy way to knock out some of those mistakes that could be happening when you're installing a Kumo Cloud or Kumo Station. Some of the calls I've been getting, again, the first one that we have talked about before, but it's good to bring it up because this is one of the major calls we we get, is connection problems. And I can't emphasize enough about making sure you're on the 2.4 gigahertz network. That's probably the number one call we get. Guys aren't sure what network they're on, but I can't tell you how important this is. With the internet connectivity, we've suggested calling ahead of time to these folks and making sure that they have a 2.4 versus five gigahertz network and that it's split. If it's not, again, we've gone over this before, but great option is to go out and get either a brand new router and have a network splitter or have the customer installing at their home reach out to their internet service provider, correct? That's right, Matt. And another thing I can't emphasize enough, before you go out to the job, don't go out cold turkey. Listen to our podcast, look at some of our setup instructions. It's gonna save you a lot of time. You know, what should be about maybe a half a day or a day's job can turn into a two and three day job and you know you don't want to lose that time yeah time is money and again that's sgtours.com backslash kumo all of our podcasts are there all the setup and installation instructions are there there's product information there's videos from mitsubishi electric all this stuff is in one spot sgtours.com backslash kumo another item that we get is we want to make sure we install the kumo cloud on all our indoor units first and leave the kumo station powered off you don't want that on at all why is it that you want that off again we, we've talked about it before but just as a refresher here if kumo station is on what problems are you going to run into well for one thing the wireless interface is going to show up when you're trying to bring your indoor units online with with Kumo Cloud. Again, some of the settings on the the Kumo station are critical and you just want to make sure you get all your indoor units functioning properly before you start up the Kumo station because the Kumo station is is relying upon those indoor units for proper setup. A few of the other items that we've run into is the Kumo station needs to be powered with a separate 24 volt transformer. A 40VA is fine don't use the transformer or the power off of your TACO or your zoning panel. The transformers are not big enough. They're only about a 10 or 15 VA. The other things that we have run into on your Kumo station, if you have a wireless interface installed on your Kumo station without a direct wire to your air handler, you want to make sure dip switch 5 is turned on. That allows communication with the wireless interface without an air handler directly wired to it you will have communication problems if that dip switch 5 is not on and that wants to be set to the on position before you power up the station. Another thing is don't forget the outside air sensor. That has to be wired into the Kumo station. When you are setting it up, don't panic if that temperature setting doesn't show up right after install. Sometimes it takes a little bit after the initial startup for the temperature to register in the Kumo station. Another thing is how do we tie in the Kumo station to your heating either circulators or zone valves. The easiest way is just to parallel wire to your existing heating thermostat and then just bring your wires over to the normally open contacts inside your Kumo station. And that's a that's a new one there folks. So again, this is a refresher course but we're getting some new things as well. Maybe not enough to give you a full podcast, but make sure you're you're listening to these. Ken's going to Ken's giving you some great information here. Some refresher, some brand new stuff there. I'm sure we'll have more along the way, Matt. I'm sure we will, and we'll have more updates again. We mentioned the the site already. We'll mention it again, sgtours.com backslash Kumo. Go there, sign up for our mailing list. If you're not already signed up, you'll get all of these updates, all the podcasts, and any product updates that we get directly into your inbox. All we need is your name and your email. You'll be signed up and be getting our emails. We don't send you a ton. Don't worry. We're not going to be hitting you with spam. We're not trying to sell you on anything. We just want to make sure that 
you, your techs, your installers, your sales guys have all the correct information that you need. I want to thank Ken for coming on. Again, a quick little refresher course on common mistakes to avoid here, Kumo Cloud, Kumo Station. Thank you all out there for listening. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast. Google Play, Apple Music, Spotify can stream us on TuneIn Radio or iHeartRadio. Anywhere you can find a podcast, you can find us using that. You can find us searching Taurus Tech Talk. Follow along on social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Use the hashtag Taurus Tech Talk to communicate with us directly. And as always, visit our website, sgtaurus.com backslash podcast. You can catch every Taurus Talk, every Taurus Tech Talk right there. And get caught up on everything we've talked about, whether it be Kumo Cloud, Kumo Station, or anything else with our tech guys. I want to thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you next week on Taurus Tech Talk. Yeah.